Fortnite squad. What's going on everyone? E Pac-Mans is back with another Fortnite video and today we are going to look at Season 8 Week 3 as you can see right here on the screen just came out. But before we actually get started, if you're not subscribed already, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more challenge guide videos that I do. I've been doing them, been doing them every week for Season 8 and I enjoy doing them for you guys. Hope you guys like them too. So make sure you are subscribed and also hit that bell button so you don't miss any upload in the future. Without further ado, let's get on to Season 8 Week 3. So for Stage 1 here for the free challenges, we got to visit Fatal Fields and Salty Springs in the single match. Okay, that's easy. We'll see what the next one is after that. Okay, Stage 1 of 3 here, Destroy Cacti in the Desert, also easy. So, so far so good. And you can see you only get one battle. Uh, star for it. Here we got place different trap slot items in the single match. Okay. Then search where the magnifying glass sits on the treasure map loading screen. Okay, so we'll figure that where that is. Search chests at Sunny Steps or Fatal Fields. So it looks like we have to do seven. That's pretty easy. Deal headshot damage to opponents. Okay, you have to deal with 500 damage. That shouldn't be too bad. Get elimination with the SMG pistol and a sniper rifle. That's not gonna be bad because I think we already did this earlier on in the season. Okay, so this week's not too bad, it looks like. Uh, we'll go ahead and get started and we'll do a little bit of disco domination. Okay, I think we're gonna start with the easy one. Let's do Fatal Fields and Salty Springs in a single match. Okay, here we are at Fatal Fields. I know I'm a little late to the party, it's alright. All we gotta do is visit Salty Springs now, and looks like nobody's there. Salty Springs, here we are. Nice, we got it. Alright, here's the different trap slot items. That's one. So I need to find another trap and then just simply place it. All you have to do is two in a game. So this is fairly easy challenge. This week overall is fairly easy, it looks like. So you got the pistol, SMG, and the sniper loaded up for that challenge. Let's see if we can complete it. I haven't really found anybody in this game mode. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, there we go. Okay, so what you have to do is place like a trap and then like a turret, okay. So now I got the challenge without even trying. Cool. I had originally thought it literally meant place two different traps, but I guess, you know, you gotta place one of these bad boys and then the actual trap. Alright, cool. Well, we got that challenge done. So we could go for a third in the single game. Bingo! There's the sniper shot. Okay, so now we need the SMG shots and the pistol shots. And I'm kind of running out of time, not gonna lie. Let's see if I can get any of these people. There we go. So now I just need a pistol elimination. Here we go, pistol time. Which is not gonna fare well against a shotgun, I'll tell you that, but I'll give it my, sh my best. And we got it, nice. Wow, I did not think that would come that easy. Literally came one after the other. Okay, cool. We just did three challenges in my very first game. Not too bad. Oh, nice. I got the blue hybrid. We're going to be wearing that from now on for this video. Let's go ahead and equip it. I think I'm going to go without the dragon. Okay, so let's look at the challenges that I was able to do in my first game. I visited 
Salty Springs, and Fatal Field. So stage two is visit Haunted Hills and Tilted Towers, so we'll be doing that one. I did place different trap slot items, so that means you have to place a trap and then like a turret or something. And then I also did get an elimination with the SMG pistol and sniper that came back to back to back. Literally, that was cool. <laughs> I, I did not think I was going to get that as fast as I did, but I did. Alright, so I think we're going to go to Haunted Hills and Tilted Towers, and then we're going to aim for the headshot damage right here for this next game. Okay guys, so here I am landing in Haunted Hills, which is enemy territory at the moment. I literally had to fly all the way across, and it looks like we already have somebody here. Oh, I did not get a weapon. I'm screwed. Oh, there's a weapon. Where's the guy at? Oh, there he is. Let's see if we can get a headshot damage here. Okay, cool. I uh, should have been headshot damage. Got 10 headshot damage? Wow, that sucks. Okay, but at least we got something. Okay, so now I'm headed to Tilted Towers, so I complete the Haunted Hills and Tilted Towers in a single match, and there it is right there. Headshot damage. Mm. There it is. Nice. <laughs> he stood still for me. Perfect. And so I got 133 headshot damage so far. So I'm about a one fifth in. Nice. Another headshot. I think that was two ten damage. If I'm not mistaken. No, it was less than Dang, it's hard to aim while you're in combat for the head. I understand, but this challenge overall is not too bad. I'm at 196 out of 500 so far. Nice. Was that a headshot? Hopefully. No, it wasn't. Oh, there. Oh, yes, it was. Now I'm at 301. Perfect. It was a headshot. Headshot. No? Oh my gosh. How's, yeah, there we go. There's a little delay, man. These, these things keep freaking me out. They keep scaring me, thinking I don't get a headshot. Did I get that headshot? I don't know. Hopefully. Yes, I did! 500 out of 500 in a single match. I was able to do it. Well, actually, sorry guys. It's not in a single match. It's just you have to accumulate the 500 total uh, damage to the headshot. But I did it in a single match and I'm kind of proud of myself. Um, it's really easy, actually. Just, I would recommend playing some Disco Domination and just aiming for the head. Alright, let's look at stage 3 visit Frosty Flights and Loop Lake in a single match. Okay, we will do that one. And then I have to destroy Cacti, so maybe I'll try to do... I'll try to combine these two here. So I realized visiting Frosty Flights, Loot Lake, and destroying Cacti is not gonna happen just because everything's so spread out. I'll try my best, but I will at least do the Frosty Flights and Loot Lake in this match. Okay, so because you can respawn in these game modes, I recommend just jumping off like something to respawn and go to your destination a lot faster. That's what I would recommend personally. Alright, so now we're going to visit Loot Lake. So I complete the visit Frosty Flights and Loot Lake in a single match. And like I said, it's not tough at all. You can do it. Here we are. Perfect. And might as well even dance since I'm already here. Oh, 
Oh, you literally have to destroy 30 cacti. Wow, that's gonna be... Mm, I thought I was gonna be able to do that in a single match, because I thought it was like 30 damage or something, but I guess that doesn't make any sense. So you have to literally destroy 30 cacti. It's gonna take a while, guys. Alright, here's my second cacti. Third. And fourth. Here's my fifth. Nice. And eighth, just before I die. Nice. So this is gonna be my tenth cacti. Eleven. We have twelve over here. Okay, here's my thirteenth. Fourteen. Woo, fifteen, halfway there. That's 27, 28, 29, and finally, we made it to 30. So that's just time consuming. It's not hard, but it's very time consuming. Okay, let's go where the magnifying glass sits on the treasure map loading screen, and I think it's right here. So if you guys want to take a look, it's right by Polar Peak. Kind of in between Frosty, which I should, probably should have done when I visited Frosty, but it should be right there for you guys. Right where my marker is. Alright, let's go see if that's the case. Hopefully it is, and we get this challenge done. There's somebody here already. It's an enemy. So I might die, but it's okay. No, I did not die. I thought this was the place. Oh, there it is. I see it. Perfect. Search that, and we got it. Cool. Okay, so again for you guys, between Frosty Flights, Polar Peak, you see Frosty Flights over here, you see Polar Peak up here, and this is where you have to go, right there where my marker is, right there in that kind of circular area. And then once you're here, the Battle Pass Star will be right around here. Okay, after finishing the cacti, you have to search ammo boxes in the snow biome, which is super easy. Okay, so to get the biggest bang for my buck, I decided to pick a place in the snow biome that's completely empty, nobody's around it. Uh, I'm gonna have all the ammo boxes all to myself. And hopefully we can get this done quickly. I need to search seven of them. Here's number one. Number two, number three, number four, number five, six right here, and finally number seven. Nice. So like I said, if you just land somewhere where nobody's around you in the snow biome, for example me right here, I'm completely alone, you're going to get this done ASAP. Search chests in Fatal Fields. Stage 3 of 3, search chests in the jungle. So it looks like we're going to the jungle. We only have to do 5 chests there. So since I have to search chests in Sunny Steps and the jungle, I wonder if it counts for both. Yes, it does! Okay, so you guys can knock out 2 in 1. It's that get killed right there. 
but you guys can knock out two in one search chest in sunny steps and search chest in the jungle they double count so that's awesome so i would save those um so they can coincide just like me okay so remember to finish chopping down your cacti so that's 30 of them and then searching your seven ammo boxes in the winter biome say do those and then save the search chest at sunny steps or fatal fields because then it will double count because you have to search five chests in the jungle and if you save that with the sunny steps one it'll double count watch you see search chest in jungle and search chest in fatal fields slash sunny steps so once you run out of chests to search in sunny steps move on to the different part of the jungle and search them there because some people are just going to be dwelling on sunny steps but you can move on to another location in the jungle and search more chests For example, this location right here. Because again, I'm pretty alone. As you guys can see up here, I'm pretty lonely. Everybody's in sunny steps. Well, two guys. There was more, but they had left already. But I'm pretty alone. So I would recommend, like I said, leaving those two to coincide. So right there at the top left, it says search chest at sunny steps or fatal fields. And then stage three of three, search chest in the jungle. Like I said, Sunny Steps and the jungle coincide. But once you're done at Sunny Steps, or there's no more chests that you can search, then move on to different parts of the jungle and you'll knock these challenges out super quick. And then just an FYI, if you're interested in finding these hamster ball, uh, officially called the baller vehicles, they're in these research lab locations. So for example, this one right by Sunny Steps, where I am right now, right there. As you can see, there's three by me, four by me actually. So just in case if you were wondering. Would you look at that, right outside the research lab, we have two chests here. Although I finished my search chest in the jungle, but I could have gotten two more right there, so awesome. Alright, so we were able to get three, surprisingly, because uh, more people landed here than I had an anticipated originally. Maybe we can get lucky and get the fourth, who knows. No way, nobody searched this one? Wow. So we were able to get all four of them. That's sick. Awesome. Alright, so now it's time to go to the secret battle star. Okay, so the secret battle star should be, it's a kind of a weird location this time around. However, it should be. Right around this area over here, I believe. So that is I-4. Kind of by the volcano. Let's go see if we can find it. Again, so you guys can take a look kind of by sunny steps in the volcano Okay, so this should be the location. There should be a bunker here and yeah, it is right there So it's kind of hidden with trees, but like I said all the way up here by the volcano I-4 and Then you should land on top of these steps And there it is There you have it Secret Battle Star and loading screen number three. Awesome. Well, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to put on that bell button so you don't miss on any upload. I will be uploading more challenge video guides for the future, especially for season eight, as I've been doing already. And if you haven't seen my week one, week two, make sure to watch those. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will be back next week with another challenge guide video. And with that, that is week three for you guys.
I'm E Pacmans. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, social media at E Pacmans. And I am out. Peace out, guys.